Okay, so today is all about Sony. I'm running a little bit late because I've just taken my son to the hospital. Just an appointment, nothing serious, okay? But I'm running late to the event, which is happening at the Polo Club. Never thought I'd say this in my entire life that I'm going to the Polo Club to watch Polo. If any of you don't know what Polo is, it's basically Quidditch on horses. Unfortunately, by the time I got to the event for the launch of two massive lenses, they were already packing up. Polo players gone. Almost. So here I am at the Polo Club. They're playing polo. Well, they're not playing polo because if oh, there's one guy there though, he's playing by himself. So it's, it's just like golf on a horse, basically. Here we are. I've got the 600 millimeter. What length? <laughs> this, is, this is so tight, actually. That's what she said. A drink. Oh. Here we go, he's chasing the ball. Got it on the a 7 but the focusing is pretty immense. It has two extreme dynamic linear motors for precise and fast AF-AF. Lens control algorithm, which is an algorithm that controls lenses quickly and silently. And it works great on the cheapish a 7 One thing with the 600 is that, as I said, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite a bit of reach on it. Right at the end of the field, and I can see somebody's butt in my frame. Bokeh fine butt. Here we go. He looks exactly like the logo of a Ralph Lauren shirt. It's fantastic. Ball gear looks all right. Tree leaves aren't incredibly creamy, but not distracting. So yeah, 600 F4. I kept thinking I was going to be 2.8, but you know what? It's quite an amazing feat already. 2.8 would be huge anyway. This is a nice size and weight. The lightest 600 around, in fact, weighing in around 900 grams lighter than Canon Nikon 600 F4. It doesn't strip down any pro level specs either. It's dust and weather resistant, has four customizable buttons, drop in filters, and three steady shot modes. One is your bog standard IS, two for panning, three for unpredictably moving stuff. And they're basically filling out the lens range. Now Sony have got so many different lenses available. Somebody, oh, it's a dog. There's a, there's a dog on the pitch. Is that part of the game? Yeah, I mean, they'd probably think like, oh, Canon Nikon and the other one. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can make your full frame mirrorless cameras. We've got loads of lenses. He's probably knackered. Well, he's probably not that tired. He's just riding a horse, isn't he? Oh, yes. Oh, skills. He's like the Neymar of the horse polo world without the rolling about, hopefully. Take that. That snaps into focus nicely. I mean, now it's almost like no question, especially after the new firmware update. The A9 is just getting better and better for sports and wildlife and action stuff. What else do you need? You need lenses like this. Boom. Here we go, here we go, fast. For sure with the A9, it's gonna work wonders. It's already such a beast with this A7 III. In terms of the optics, for those who like numbers, you have 24 elements, 18 groups, 3 fly elements, not the stuff that helps prevent tooth decay, 1 XA element to help achieve better bokeh, 1 ED element for less aberrations and shit, and nano crystal coating that has to be mentioned because it's so nanified you can't actually see it. And with all that, you'd assume image quality top notch, right? For those who don't like numbers, it's bloody brilliant! I've only got 24 megapixels to play with, but... Ooh. <laughs> me. Pardon me. Price. Free Brexit price tag of 12,000 UK pounds, and that's it for the lens. Mostly because the subject needed to eat some hay or whatever polo players eat. So yeah, that's it. I didn't really get to get hands on with the 200 to 600. Is it 200 to 600? There's one over there. They're all going now. They're all getting on the bus. But somebody's left one of these. They totally haven't realized that they've left me here with the 600 and a 200-600. Let me take this. With no polo left, it was time to sneakily head off elsewhere to try this new 200-600 out. Ooh, this is quite a bit different to the horses. Horsepower. I'm on a boat, shooting a man tied to a plank with water and stuff. I think it's called waterboarding. I heard it's become popular again recently. This is a 200-600 f5.6-6.3. Max aperture isn't something to shout about, but the price is at £1,800. And you get this range, making it a versatile lens, but in a package that is just as robust and ready as the 600, with weather resistance and the free focus modes. I've got it on mode 3, by the way. <laughs> Like 
The 200-600 has a direct drive SSM, not the XD on the 600. Different name, but focus is seemingly as accurate and speedy with the A7 III. It's tracking the subject, even with water splashing everywhere, getting in the way of the subject. It's, it's times like this when you really realize just how good the face detector is. But it doesn't just feel good, things look good too. Images look great. It has five ED element, one is spherical, tack sharp. Whoa. And the background kind of melts away, it doesn't distract at all. But it's really about having the ability to go from 200 all the way to 600 with really quite good stabilization, even for video. This is on hybrid log gamma. <laughs> At a little over 2 kg also, it's quite a nice lens to hand hold too. Even on terra firma, using 200 upwards is hard to get none shaky looking footage. And when you're on a speedboat, it gets more difficult. But I found the optical steady shot worked a treat. Although all this footage was shot with a faster shutter speed because I don't have an ND filter bigger than 82 millimeters. Oh yeah, the focus is phenomenal. Sure, it doesn't go up to f4 at the longest, but it's very much a G master. Well corrected, no visible aberrations. What really isn't to like about this lens? The 600mm f4 is going to be used a lot by pros and serious enthusiasts with deep pockets. It's a great lens, but that's kind of no surprise in some ways. The big surprise is this 200 to 600 because the price makes it attainable for all and the stabilization makes it easily usable for all. I don't really get too excited by tele lenses, but I actually really like the 200 to 600 for its versatility, performance, ergonomics, with a price tag that is easier to handle. That's it, thanks for watching. If you ever fancy a bit of new gear, please do check out the Adorama affiliate links in the description box below. It helps support this channel. See ya.